220 pounds, up against Alistair at 6'6". He's a tall guy. And, but he's a very lean, looks like he's somewhere around the 215 pound mark himself. Uh, do you think Alistair is gonna throw a flying knee boss? Yeah, it, it gotta be. <laughs> he, he took a tough opponent, trust me. Uh, there here's we go. The, there's the knee clinch right there, the plum clinch as they call it in oh. Thailand. And the knees are coming in bunches. But uh, Zentsov is having a good cross-arm defense. Oh, that one slipped through. I expect the Russian to grab the leg. Alistair takes him down and mounts him. Alistair has got Zentsov in a horrible position here. Zentsov's feet footwork, it doesn't appear he knows what to do. Alistair going for a key lock. Which is very difficult to do from the mount, or you got to switch to the side mount. He's got to take his time here. He, got, he, he cannot overrush it by losing the position. He's off just beat the guy from Red Devil. Armar's coming up, it looks. No. And he's got to pick his shots. We've seen a number of people set up the armbar by going knee up on the on the, on the the bicep of the downed opponent and nice. then picking the other arm. But Alistair seems content to land the right hand. Left arm bar now. And there, he, is he going to go for the armbar? Yes, I think. He's got, it, he's got it cut yeah, right, he's got and, 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 and he, he can get the rear naked choke, he can get the rear naked choke. If the guy turns over, he can go for the choke. Alistair, total down, it. oh, he's the key going. lock, he can roll out of this so easily, Bob. Yes, he can. He he can, can oh, oh, there he's it got is. He got the key lock from the mount. <laughs> the, the crowd didn't know, so Alistair made them jump to it. Alistair Overeem with a quick and easy, seemingly, submission. Listen, we're going to hear a lot from this guy. Okay, here we're it is. Here it is. The, it's the key lock. You could have rolled out of it. Just roll to the right, right? You can, yes. You can really, you can reverse your opponent if they do this. Because he, he arched his hips up. That, that was the wrong move. He should have just kept his hips down and rolled over. Yep. Huh. Well, Zentzov was in over his head in that one because he really didn't give anything. I think uh, the, he, he, he took a few good shots to the head and it looked like he didn't want to fight anymore once, once, he, was on, once he hit the crowd. Alistair, Alistair Overeem, excuse me? Yeah, this is impressive. He beat a guy like this because he saw this guy fight. This guy is a tough guy. 21 wins with 19 KOs. I mean, come on. Alistair, this is the kind of person we're going to hear a lot from. Yeah, because a Red Devil guy, even though Zenzov did appear to be in over his head, he still, when you fight a guy from a famous gym that produces great fighters like Red Devil does, you, you, you kind of beat the legacy in some ways. Alistair Overeem. That's the guy to watch right now. He's the hot product from Golden Glory Amsterdam. Lucian Carbine is his trainer. And we're gonna get a word with Alistair Overeem at ringside. Okay, Steven, you go, baby. Ask him the right questions. The Demolition Man! The Demolition Man! You demolished him! Break, break down the fight for us! What was that? Break the fight down. Give us a breakdown on the fight. Uh, shorter version of the story. Well, uh, I gave him some knees. The plan was to uh, get him standing up. But uh, well, I got the opportunity to get him down, and I did. Well, you used the knees great, and you're a Lucian Carbine product. So Lucian must really be proud of those knees. Now, what would you like to do next, Alistair? Fighting, uh, fighting wise. Uh, well, I've heard something about the WFA in America. I would like to fight there. It's really good to see you back, Alistair. Congratulations.